Hello students, segundo A, segundo B, this is Miss Mariana here and I'm going to work with you today, okay? Today we are going to continue with unit number four and you remember, remember that the name of the unit is break time. Do you remember what's the meaning of break time in Spanish? Very good. Means tiempo de recreo, okay? So uh, in the last video, Miss Jessica's video, she um, showed you different games that we can play at school. For example, hide and seek, football or tag, um, hopscotch, etc. Okay, today class, we are going to study how to express the game you want to play at school and also ask other people the game they want to play at school too. Now in Spanish. Hoy día vamos a estudiar entonces eh, expresar el juego que tú quieres jugar en el colegio y también preguntarle a otras personas qué, es, qué juegos ellos quieren jugar. Eh, ¿De acuerdo? So, I need you please now pay attention to the following. Now we are going to watch a very short video about a boy, a student like you. And this boy it tells us about his favorite game, okay? And I imagine that this favorite game is the, is the game that he wants to play at school too. Vamos a ver este video, pequeño video, do, sobre un chico, un estudiante como ustedes, que nos cuenta sobre su juego favorito, okay? Yo imagino que este juego favorito es el juego que él también quiere jugar en el colegio. Okay, so pay attention, watch and listen. Uh, after watching the video, luego del video, you have to tell me virtually, me van a decir de forma virtual, what's his favorite game, okay? So pay attention, enjoy it, que lo disfruten. Here we go. Hi friends, my name is Leonetter of Class 5A. I'm here to speak a few words about my favorite game. There are more important things in life than winning or losing a game. Different people like different games. Some like cricket, kabaddi, tennis, and others like table tennis, golf, etc. I like football the most. It is my favorite game. It is an outdoor game. It's a quite challenging and interesting game. It is played between two teams in an open space. It is also known as the King's Sport and is the most famous sport in the entire world. Each team has 11 players. One referee and two linesmen direct the match. Every player is always active. All the, all the spectators enjoy the match for a very short time. All the players always try to score goals. All the goalkeepers try their best to save. They Everyone gets a lot of physical exercise through the game. So, I conclude my work saying that football is my favorite game. Thank you. Okay, so now, what is his favorite game? ¿Pudiste darte cuenta cuál era su juego favorito? Very good. It was football. Do you like football? And I also imagine that um, besides of being a uh, football, his favorite game, this game is the game that he also wants to play at school. Entonces, además de eh, ser su juego favorito, yo imagino que este es el juego que este estudiante quiere jugar en el colegio. Okay? So that is what we are going to work today. Eso es lo que vamos a trabajar hoy. Pay attention to the following. Okay? Here we go. Okay. Let's see. So, as I said before, we continue with unit number four. The title is break time. And the objective for today is to express the game I want to play and ask others what they want to play. Eh, in Spanish means, el objetivo es expresar el juego, mencionar el juego que yo quiero jugar y preguntarle a otros eh, sobre qué juego ellos, eh, quieren jugar ellos, ¿ya? Siempre pensando at school, okay? So, let's move on. I need you please now open your English copybook, tu cuaderno de inglés, and write down the number of the unit, the title, and the objective. You have to write in your English copybook, unit four, break time, 
and the objective to express the game I want to play and ask others what they want to play. Vamos a escribir el título de la unidad y el objetivo para hoy que era expresar el juego que yo quiero jugar y preguntarle a otros sobre qué quieren jugar también. ¿Ok? Eh, take your time, tómate tu tiempo, coloca y pausa el video y cuando estés ready, continue. Pones play nuevamente. So, you are ready? That's it. So, let's move on. Here we go. The first we are going to work today is to ask others what they want to play. Lo primero que vamos a ver hoy, queridos estudiantes, es cómo le voy a preguntar a una persona qué es lo que quiere jugar. ¿Ya? We are going to imagine, vamos a imaginarnos que estamos face to face, cara a cara, con un compañero o compañera, and we want to know what they want, what he or she wants to play, qué es lo que él o ella quiere jugar. ¿Ok? So, if you are face to face, si estás cara a cara con esa persona, you have to um, make this, the, the question in the following order. Vas a hacer la pregunta de la siguiente manera. First, you are going to start your question using do you, vas a empezar así tu pregunta. Do you, then, want to play, do you want to play cards? Do you want to play cards? ¿Quieres tú jugar a las cartas? ¿Mm? ¿Te diste cuenta? Lo que está en red color nos referimos a la persona. Do you want to play? Es la oferta que le estás haciendo. Want to play. Y lo que está en blue color es el juego, que lo puedes cambiar por board game, tag, fútbol, etc. Cualquier juego que tú te sepas y de lo que estamos estudiando también en la unit 4. ¿Ok? So, Can you repeat? Can you repeat after me? Do you want to play? Now, can you repeat? Do you? Can you repeat? Want to play? Now, all. Oh, can you repeat? Do you want to play? Very good. Excellent pronunciation. So, In this question, cuando tenemos esta pregunta, we have two alternatives of answers. Tenemos dos alternativas de respuesta. One is the affirmative. Yes, as I'm showing that. Estoy ahí mostrándote que es affirmative. Si tu respuesta o la respuesta del compañero o de la compañera es affirmative, acepta jugar contigo a las cartas, the answer is, yes, I do. Si sí, quiero jugar a las cartas. Ok. But what about on the other side? ¿Qué pasa en el lado contrario? If it's negative. <coughs> If it's negative, we say, no thanks, I want to play tag. No gracias, yo quiero jugar a la tiña. Ok. So, I need you please now, in your English copybook, Open it one more time. Voy a pedir que nuevamente abras tu cuaderno de inglés y escribas entonces este subtítulo que dice Ask others what they want to play. Preguntarle a otros qué es lo que quieren jugar. Y luego, con tres colores que tú quieras, vas a escribir esta pregunta de ejemplo. Do you want to play cards? Recuerden que la, par la parte que está en blue color, el game, lo puedes cambiar por cualquier otro juego. ¿Ya? Luego de escribir tu pregunta, que está aquí, do you want to play cards? Vamos a escribir las dos alternatives, las dos respuestas alternativas, que son yes I do, que es affirmative, o no thanks, I want to play tag, que es la negativa, no gracias, yo quiero jugar la latina. Obviously, obviamente no van a poder dibujar a la misma Ariana así o así. Así que van a escribir el subtítulo, ask others what they want to play, Luego la pregunta, do you want to play cards? Y solamente las dos alternativas de respuesta. ¿De acuerdo? Ahora, te doy una sugerencia. Como no puedes dibujar a la Miss, puedes hacerle una carita feliz para yes I do y una sad face para no thanks. ¿Ok? Tómate tu tiempo y cuando estés ready, le colocas plenamente el video. Ok, so you're ready? Let's move on. So now, how can you mention the game you want to play at school? ¿Cómo vamos a mencionar el juego que tú quieres jugar en el colegio? 
very similar, es muy parecida a la respuesta negativa. Mira, pay attention. The first word, la primera palabra that you have to include is I. Can you repeat I? Very good. Después, immediately after I, we include want to play. Can you repeat want to play? Very good. Means in Spanish, quiero jugar. And finally, we include the game. For example, hide and seek, okay? So the order to express or to mention the game I want to play at school is I, I want to play hide and seek, okay? Remember that you can change the game. Puedes, jugar con el, puedes cambiar el juego. In this case, I included hide and seek. But uh, I, we can say, I want to play board game, que es juego de mesa, or I want to play football. You can change the game, ¿ok? Puedes cambiar el juego, pero la parte que está en green, I, y la parte que está en yellow, want to play, tienen que ir yes o yes. Y al final vas a colocar el game, ¿ok? <coughs> Ahí salgo yo, mira, pointing. ¿Por qué salgo señalando eso? Because it's very important. And as it is, as it is important, como es importante, please open your English copybook one more time. Vas, te voy a pedir que abras tu cuaderno de inglés nuevamente y escribas el subtítulo Mention the game you want to play. Ok, que te lo voy a mostrar aquí completito. Mention the game you want to play. Luego vas a escribir el ejemplo también con tres colores para que se eh, identifique más fácil para ti. I, que significaba you. Luego, ahí está la I, ¿cierto? En green color. Luego tenemos en yellow, want to play. And finally we have the games, que están en blue. ¿Ok? Puedes eh, ponerle pausa eh, al video para que lo tomes, te tomes tu tiempo para escribir en tu cuaderno. Y cuando estés ready, continuamos. Y colocas play nuevamente. So, you are ready now? So, let's continue. Okay, I need you please, dear students, now open your activity book. Activity book, no color book, okay? This is the activity book, okay? Your activity book on page number 32. Page 32 in your activity book, okay? So, mientras buscas tu libro, yo te espero aquí. Ponle pausa al video si quieres y continuamos cuando estés ready. Ok, so now here we have page 32 uh, in your activity book, la página 32 de tu activity book. Recuerda que el activity book es el no color book, el libro sin color. So, I need you please go to activity number four, this activity. Here we have four kids, a girl, boy, girl, and boy. Each one of them is showing, te está mostrando, eh, the game they want to play, yeah? Uh, for example, in the first one, the first uh, girl here, we look at the photo. What is she, what does she want to play? ¿Qué es lo que ella quiere jugar? Ah, oh, me fijo aquí muy bien, entonces, les voy a ayudar aquí un poquito. Miren aquí, ah, oh, what's this? Is this football? No. Or is this hide and seek? No, miss. That is computer game. So what you have to do is you have to complete the sentence. I want to play a computer game. Okay. What about the next boy? Let's see the next boy. Let's look. What's this? Is this a computer game too? No. Or is this hopscotch? Hopscotch? No. What's the name? So you have to complete here the name of the game. I want to play and the name of the game. What about the third girl? This girl. What about this? What's this? Hmm. This, yes, is football or no. Of course not. So, 
what's the name of that game? You have to complete here. I want to play on the name of the game. Here, okay. Si necesitas ayuda para recordar los nombres de los juegos, puedes ir a tu student's book o también ver Miss Jessica's video, el video de Miss Jessica. And the last one, here we have this one. What about this? This is football because it's a ball. Es una pelota. So this is football or no? no? It seems not. So what's the name of the game? You have to complete the sentence too. También tienes que completar aquí with I want to play and the name of the game. Okay, can you do it? Podrías hacerlo, no? Yes, of course you can do it. So now you finish, let's continue. Now, please, I need you open your activity book, the same book, el mismo libro, on page 34. Page 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 34. Página 34 de, de tu activity book. Here we have the first activity. We have one, two, three, four, five, six kids uh, showing the game they want to play. Nos está mostrando el juego que ellos quieren jugar at school. Okay. Let's see the example. Here we have the first girl. Here we have this, this girl. And the question, she makes a question to her. Ella le está haciendo una pregunta a la amiga del lado. And the question is, do you want to play? Me fijo bien, ¿qué está mostrando la niña? Ah, this is basketball. So that's why the example says basketball. Okay. So, do you want to play basketball? And the girl, the other girl, la otra niña, dice, this girl, this girl answers, ella le responde, no thanks, I want to play, and what's this? What's the name? Footballation? No, miss, it's not footballation. What's the name of that game? Voy a tener que mirar el video de mi Jessica nuevamente. And I write down the name of the game, okay? So you have to complete the other four kids too. What about number two? The second conversation, la segunda conversación. This girl, the first one, she is asking, do you want to play? What's this? What's the name of that game? And you have to write down here. Lo tienes que completar aquí. And then... Her friend, su amiga, le responde, no thanks, I want to play a, and what's the name of that game? Hmm. What about conversation number three? Veamos la conversación número tres. Here we have a boy, and he asked, él pregunta, do you want to play a, and you have to complete the name of the, of the game. What's the name of this game? ¿Qué? ¿Cuál es el nombre de este juego? And the girl, la niña, su amiga, answers. Yes, good idea. Let's play a, and you have to repeat the name of this game. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's continue with the other activity. Recuerden, segundo A y segundo B, que todas estas actividades que tú estás viendo del Activity Book las tienes que tener listas antes de la próxima sesión Meet. ¿De acuerdo? So, let's continue to the next activity. Activity number seven. Here we have two sentences, but are all mess. Están todas desordenadas. You have to order the sentences and write it here. We have in the number one, you, two, one, do, play, tag. Mm. This is a question, porque aquí nos fijamos, miren bien, tenemos la pista, tenemos esta pista que es una question, tenemos la question mark at the end. Entonces, ¿cómo dijo la misma manera que era la pregunta? Ah, si no me acuerdo, don't worry, retrocedo un poquito el video y me queda clarito. Entonces, aquí tengo otra pista. The first word is... Do. What is after do? What goes after? ¿Qué es lo que viene después? Do esta lista. ¿Qué viene después? Vendrá you. Vendrá to. Want. O play a tag. What's the order? ¿Cuál es el orden de la pregunta? 
Y what about the number two, sentence number two, la, la segunda oración. This is an answer, it's not a question. Aquí tenemos una respuesta, because we have a dot. Tenemos un puntito aparte al final, ya, yeah? a dot. So, ¿cómo respondo? Tengo thanks, no, want, play, to, I, football. Oh my God, what's the order? Mm. ¿Les doy una pista? It's a negative answer. It's negative. So what's the first word? ¿Cuál es la primera palabra si it's negative? Si es negative, ¿puedo poner yes? So what's the order of the words? ¿Cuál es el orden de las palabras? ¿Mm? Yo sé que lo pueden hacer. So, remember, dear students, segundo A and segundo B, recuerden muy bien que todas estas actividades que tú acabas de ver, las debes tener ready, terminadas, antes de la próxima sesión. Mira, segundo A con Miss Jessica, el, el próximo miércoles eh, 28, y eh, segundo B with Miss Mariana, el próximo martes 27. Tienen que tenerlas listas porque las vamos a revisar en sesión Meet, en vivo. No las pueden hacer en Meet, ¿ok? So, that's it for today. Uh, nos vemos en un próximo video or in Meet Sessions. So, kisses and hugs and take care. So, bye bye.